Knowing how to survive in the Friday the 13th game is essential, and you can't survive if you don't know how to escape Jason. Jason has every advantage going into each and every match. So let's get right to it and offer some advice on how you can survive in Friday the 13th and escape from Jason. As a counselor, your goal is to escape the map before Jason kills you. That's your only objective. There are a number of ways you can do this, as well as a number of things you should avoid along the way. You absolutely should not try to engage Jason unless you have no other choice. The easiest way to survive and win a match as a counselor is by simply calling the police. Unfortunately, this isn't as easy as it may sound. In order to call the police, you need to find the cabin with the phone box. More often than not, the phone box will be broken and smoking. To fix the phone box, you will need to find the phone box fuse, which is usually located in a nearby house. Search through all the drawers inside all nearby houses until you find the phone box fuse. Once you have it, head back over to the phone box and repair it. Usually, the phone is inside the building where you find the phone box, so head inside and make a call to the police. Once the police have been called, you need to wait 5 minutes for them to show up. During this time, you should head toward the main highway. The police will show up on either side of the main road. If you haven't found the map, just follow the roads until you reach what looks like a major freeway. Get as close to the main road as possible before the police arrive. If you wait until they show up before you start heading toward the main road, Jason will be able to wait near the police and attack anyone who approaches. It's best to get close before the police arrive so you don't have to go far. The biggest issue with trying to escape by fixing the car or boat is that it takes a lot of work, and you'll need some luck or really good teamwork to pull it off. First, you need to find the boat or car on your own. The map will show you exactly where the car or boat are located, but someone usually spawns near them anyway. Then you need to find the keys to the car, a propeller for the boat, and fuel for both. You can usually find at least one of the items you need to get these vehicles working in a nearby building. You'll need to search through the drawers for the car keys, but the propeller and fuel will usually be sitting in plain sight. You may have to venture out a bit to find all the items you need. It also should be noted that you can't carry the fuel or propeller and a weapon at the same time. It's one or the other, so be careful not to run into Jason once you pick one of these items up. With all the items ready to go, you need to repair the vehicle of choice. This is another minigame that requires you to press one of the two buttons when prompted. Every time you miss an input, it will take you longer to fix the vehicle, and Jason will be able to sense what you're doing if he's close enough. Fix the vehicle of your choice, then head away from the camp to survive. The type of vehicle you choose determines how many people you can take with you. The cars will hold up to four or two people, while the boat usually only holds two. Gather some people with you, or save yourself if you find everything on your own. If at least one player has been killed or survives, you can find the large CB radio and call Tommy Jarvis for help. One player who is no longer playing will be selected at random to spawn back into the game as Tommy. Jarvis has increased stats compared to the normal counselor, and also spawns into the game with a shotgun. Keep in mind the shotgun only has a single shot, so you gotta make it count. Tommy Jarvis is not invincible, and calling him is far from a guaranteed win. If your objective is to save time or even kill Jason, Tommy can do that. However, it takes a lot to bring Jason down. A single shot is not enough so you'll need to team up with Tommy if that's your objective. Ideally, Tommy will just give you more time to escape. If Jason is hit with a shotgun, he's down for longer than any other weapon. Use this time to get away so he can't sense you once he's free from the downtime. It's best to have Tommy escort you to the car, boat, or police to serve as a distraction. Fixing the car, boat, or phone box requires some specific items. Unfortunately, if you die while holding any of these items, they fall next to your body. If it wasn't hard enough to locate the items when they were in or around the cabins, having someone die while holding those items will make it extremely difficult to recover, unless you witness the death. There are two ways to escape from Jason once he grabs you. The first is by finding the pocket knife and keeping it in your inventory. As long as you have it on you, you'll automatically stab Jason and escape his clutches. The alternative is to rapidly press the escape button, which you'll see a prompt for once Jason grabs you. Unfortunately, if Jason performs an execution before you mash out of his grasp, you'll die. Jason has every advantage in the book when it comes to hunting you down but there are some things you can do to avoid being killed. If you run, it's easier for Jason to spot you, and he can find you from farther away. While crouching and remaining still makes it hard for Jason to find you, if he's close enough, his sensibility will show a red outline of your location. Running into a house is generally a safe option, but once you're inside, you need to lock all the doors and open all the windows. Keep in mind, making noise inside a building will still alert Jason to your presence. 
the entire building will light up red if Jason uses his sensibility. Just because you're inside doesn't mean you can freely run without consequence. Stay crouched and move slowly to avoid making too much noise. And never leave through a door if you can avoid it. Close the door, lock them, and then leave through a window if you need to go. If you come face to face with Jason, make sure you have a weapon of some sort. Hating Jason with almost any weapon will stun him for a short time. Usually, this stun is long enough for you to run into another building and hide, making it difficult for Jason to find you again, even with his sensibility. If you're inside and you hear Jason break in, go out a window and make a run for it. Chances are he just used his sensibility, so he won't be able to spot you again until it's available. Each ability has a fairly lengthy cooldown period, so you have enough time to escape to a new hiding place more often than not. While it's possible to kill Jason, you're at a severe disadvantage, and it's better to just run for a new hiding place until you can figure out the best way to escape. Follow these tips and you'll manage to survive another day. And that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe. Check our description for more Friday the 13th content. Be sure to come back every weekday for another Prima 365. And for more content like this, be sure to head over to primagames.com.